as human, we are created by God to make things happen. Don't expect God to come down from heaven to make things happen for you unless you make it. We are not expected to complain when we can make things happen. I see the reason why we keep repeating, repeating our failures, repeating our carryovers, repeating our inability to make things happen every day because we haven't yet identified that we are the reason why things should happen. God has not made mistake when God said, I have created you in my own image and likeness. There is no mistake. In fact, God wants you to represent him here on earth in every form. Right has been given to you when God said, I have created you in my own image and likeness. That means right to make it happen has been given to, to you as the human. Unless you decide what to do, don't expect anything to happen. Our limitation to make things happen is because we have not yet acted. Act and you will see that you are not limited. You may have your seat. Good morning, church. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Wow. God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, today we have to do what God Almighty wants us to do. And um, there are a lot of things happening around the world. As you can see right now, so many troubles here and there. A lot of things are arising. And those things are dictating the direction of our life, of our prayers, of our conversation, and all the rest of them. Many want to do one thing or the other. They cannot do unless they are carried by the happenings around. Unless they see something happening or something here, something there, they will not make that action. They will not take that decision. If we are waiting for some persons or some people to make important decisions, we are likely not to make a change in this world we are living in. The greatest change anyone can make in life is to focus on his own heart. Focus on our own heart. Focus on your own heart. There is a focus in the heart of man. That is where we should concentrate on. I mean, we should put our focus right there in our heart. People of God, today I am challenging you to make it happen. In your business, make it happen. In your career, make it happen. In your family, make it happen. Anywhere you are around the world, make it what? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Say, make it happen. Say, my neighbor, make it happen. Let someone say, make it happen. Today, that will be our message. Make it happen. Wow. Let us look at the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13. Of course, that area is very common. It's a common area in the Bible, very popular. Philippians 4, verse 13. Good. He said, I can do all things through Christ who what? Strengthens me. Wow. I can do all things to Christ who what strengthens me. People of God. To me, that is what we are looking at when we say make it happen. You know, there are different kinds of people in our community. For example, people who watch 
what happened? Those who wonder at what happened and those who make things happen. Now, look at it very well. You will not be favored by just watching what is happening. Neither will you be favored by wondering about the happenings in your environment. But you are highly favored when you make things happen. As human, we are created by God to make things happen. Things are happening because you made it happen. Things are working because you made it happen. Things wouldn't have come to reality. I mean, there is no functionality without human. Human play a vital role to everything that happens in this world we are living in. Now, see for yourself. Take, for example, a car. As strong as that car you are having is, as nice as the car you are having is, the car will not by itself drive itself. It is human that make that car to drive or to move. Now look at it very well. We can see that human is not faster than car. We human are not what? Faster than what? Car. But when car is being controlled by human, it is faster than what? Than human. Right? Are, are you getting me? This, this is something that we have to understand. Once again, human cannot run faster than a moving car. Is that correct? Good. Now, the car you are looking at, when human enter into that car, the car will be faster than human. However, that car cannot move without human. That means what we see around cannot work, cannot move, cannot move from one place to another. We are the reason why things are moving. We are the reason why things are moving from one place to another. Identify your role as a human. We cannot remain static. I mean, staying in one place and expect things to happen for us. You know, many of us are looking for one thing or the other in our lives. Lord, can you make this happen for me? Can you make this happen for me? Don't expect God to come down from heaven to make things happen for you unless you make it. I repeat. Don't expect God to come down from heaven and make things happen for you unless you what? You make it. This simply applies to our businesses or that thing we want to achieve in our life. As we look into our career or our business life or that thing that we are doing or what we are looking at that we call challenges right in front of us. Apostle Paul see these things as a rare privilege for him to make it happen. That was why he said I can do all things through Christ who what? Strengthens me. That means ability to make things happen is already in man. Ability to what? Make things happen is already in man. We are not expected to complain when we can make things happen. No one should murmur or grumble when he or she is in the best place or in the best position 
to make it happen. I see the reason why we keep repeating, repeating our failures, repeating our carryovers, repeating our inability to make things happen every day. Because we haven't yet identified that we are the reason why things should happen. I hope you are following me. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I'm breaking it down for you to understand clearly so that we cannot be pointing fingers on people or some kind of thing or a reason why we are not able to achieve what we want to achieve in our life. You see, God has not made mistake when God said, I have created you in my own image and likeness. There is no mistake. In fact, God wants you to represent him here on earth in every form here on earth. That means you have the right to do what God has done. You have the right to say what God has said. You have the right to make it what happen. Right has been given to you when God said, I have created you in my own image and likeness. That means right to make it happen has been given to, to you as a human. Unless you decide what to do, don't expect anything to happen. What you see happening around the world, we're all driven by human. Whatever you see happening around the world today, there is killing here, there is fighting here, there is shooting here, there is this here, there is that here, there is that here. We're all what? Driven by what? Human. Ability is in you. Let's someone say ability. <laughs> Let's someone say ability to make it happen is in me. Someone cannot hear you, just tell them, tell somebody beside you, say ability. I, I can't hear you. Say ability to make things happen is already in me. Can you please face them confidently? Say ability to make things happen in my society, in my environment, in my city, in my community, in my province, in my region, in my state, in my country, in this world, is in me. No one is limited to make this happen. No one is what? Limited to make things happen. Our limitation to make things happen is because we have not yet acted. Act and you will see that you are not limited. Act on something and you will see that you are not what? Limited. Stop limiting yourself when you approach your mountain. Stop limiting yourself when you approach situation. Stop limiting yourself when you approach any challenge in life. Stop limiting yourself. Remember, as you are limiting yourself, you are crippling the ability to make it happen. As you are limiting yourself, when you approach your mountain, you are crippling your ability, your right, your will, power to make it happen. Who told you that things cannot change in that business? Who told you that that problem you are looking at will not be solved? Who told you that God, all things are not possible? Who told you? Who told you that that mountain in your life cannot be moved? Who told you? Apostle Paul have considered all this thing and has come up with a decision 
that I can do all things through Christ who what? Strengthens me. It is high time we begin to revisit ourselves all over again and see those areas of our life we need to function or grow. We must sit back and begin to reflect on ourselves over and over again and identify that area of our life that is not actually functioning, not working, not growing, not progressing. If we are reflecting on that over and over again, I mean, try to figure out why is this thing not moving when I am created to move it? Look at me. Why is this thing not what? Moving when I am created to what? To move it. That means my inability not to move it lies in my heart. Right there in my heart. I see there's a problem in the heart of man. What is the problem? Doubt. Doubt. Doubt is a mountain in the heart. Unless it is moved from the heart, it cannot be moved from the business. Doubt is a mountain in man's heart. Unless it is moved out of the heart, it cannot be moved in the sight of man. Remember, the journey of victory does not start from sight. It starts from your heart. The journey of victory, the journey of progress, the journey of success, the journey of transformation does not start from your sight, but start from what? Your heart. You have the authority to say, you mountain, be moved. However, that mountain cannot move unless it is moved from your heart. As you stand in front of your challenges, make sure that doubt does not settle in your heart. Because your limitation is not what you are looking at. Your limitation is what is happening in your heart. Are you hearing me? Your limitation is not what you are seeing, but what is happening in your heart. You are limited in your heart. End the limits and see what will happen in your business. End the limit in your heart and see what will happen around you. Those who are victorious, we see around victorious. Their victory never began in the happenings around. It all started from hearts. We must have a winning mindset. Let someone say winning mindset. <laughs> my God. My God. My God. We must have what? A winning mindset. A winning mindset is not distracted by the happenings around because it has already won in the heart. A winning mindset is not carried away or carried along or carried somewhere by what happens around. Already, the winner is in the heart. Jesus Christ was a winner in his heart. That was why nothing around could stop him from winning in the world. If you want to win in the world, first of all, win the battle in your heart. When you win in your heart, you can win in the world. In our heart, we are made to be a winner. People of God, say in my heart. I can't hear you. Say in my heart. I am created to be a winner. Tell anybody, in your heart, you are created to be a winner. In our heart, we are created to be a winner. Ask your neighbor, are you a winner in your heart? 
Can you ask them confidently? They are, they are doubting. They don't know. Ask them. Ask them my neighbor. Are you a winner? In your heart. Good question. Good question. Once you have concluded that you are a winner in your heart, forget about what happened around you. Because nothing can stop you from achieving your goal or dream. So long as you have won in your heart, the case is settled in heaven. That means the case is what? Settled in heaven. The song say, Forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven. It is settled. You can see. Where is heaven? The heaven we are looking at is not somewhere up. It's in your heart. So, the world is settled in heaven. God wants to reside in your heart. God wants to live in your heart. God wants to abide in your heart. When you have allowed him to do so, then forget about your battles. Because you and God are what? majority in the world they said majority carry the vote right like we just finished uh, American election now hmm? they say majority carry the vote <laughs> so they, some, some people just clear the whole thing eh, no mercy they clear the whole thing like that so majority carry the whole vote in the world right but in God you and God are what majority can you say a lot of things are lying down around us. A lot of projects, unfinished projects, projects that are abandoned, still there. We are still pondering over it. <sighs> this project, are you sure that God want me to get it? Because the way I'm seeing it, it's getting longer. Maybe I have to wait for some minutes or for some hours or for some days or some weeks, some months, maybe some years. You are still pondering about it. You are the reason why the project is still lying down. We are the reason why the project is still lying down on done. Once we have decided, then the victory is ours. Someone from Ghana sent a message to me. And he said, man of God, when I heard you talking about the need of deciding to do something. I realize that there is this project I have left for so long. The project was lying down there. I don't know what is happening. It's not working. Some people keep telling me the thing will not work. So I just left it like that. And uh, on hearing what I said, he decided to say, no, 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 no. The man of God said we should go and act. He went and acted on it. That was how he got his breakthrough. Breakthrough came. This person I'm talking about is a high-profile person in Ghana. I will not mention name or his position now. But he did that and that didn't work for him. Now, what lesson are we to learn from this man? The things you see around you, you are still compromising around, compromising around, still wondering if it will move or it will work. They are not there for any reason than for you to make it happen. Are you hearing me? They are there waiting for you to say it before it will happen. I use the word of a car. As long as you are having a car, if you don't enter the car and drive, the car will not move. Alright? Talk to me now. I can't hear somebody now. Computer cannot on its own be working. It is human that makes computer work. Human being. Human being. Hmm? What people call today AI, AI, 
AI, AI is human being that control AI. Have you? Talk now. Is it, talk to me. Eh? Is human being controlling what? Human being program everything and allow the program to work. Unless human acted on it, it cannot act on itself. It needs human to do so. Today, I'm challenging you anywhere you are right now, in the church or around the world. You are not an accident. God has a purpose for you here on earth. You are here for a reason. That reason must surely be fulfilled. I call on you as you look around your society or around your environment, that thing you are looking at and you don't want to do because of fear or doubt, like you are trying to relate it with your past failure, that is why you are afraid of doing. I call on you. Come out of your comfort zone. Decide and it will happen. Decide it will happen. Decide it will happen. Let someone say decide. In that business, it will happen. Decide in that career, it will happen. Decide in that family, it will happen. Decide in your country, it will happen. It has happened already. I speak to you right now, anywhere you are right now in the church or around the world. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Hmm. The joy of the Lord has become your strength. I decree and declare this is your season. I see a turnaround in your life. Are you hearing me? I see a turnaround in your business, in your career, in your family, in your marriage, and whatever you lay your hand on. Get ready for a new season. So shall it be for you and your family and your career and your marriage and whatever you lay your hand on make it happen god bless you thank you thank you Social media handles are on Twitter at twitter.com slash POJ Christ, on Facebook at facebook.com slash testimony of Jesus official, on YouTube at youtube.com slash testimony of Jesus channel, and on Instagram at instagram.com slash testimony of Jesus.